Ajax Mation's presentation. Now, sit back and relax and enjoy this episode. We just finished Dr. Argon's class and everyone was struggling. Cesium decided to skip and flirt with girls. I mean seriously, Cesium and Florine need to get together. They would definitely stop skipping class. With Florine skipping, it is just a minor annoyance. However, due to Cesium's intelligence, whenever he skips, it causes issues. This lesson especially was annoying since Dr. Argon didn't do a great job explaining things. Because of his intense nature, sometimes I wonder if he is trying to make us fail. Even the smartest among us, Lithium, Sulfur, and Rubidium, were brought to their knees. Well, that sucked. I can't believe Cesium decided to skip both of his classes to flirt again. He could have helped the most and is the only one who can breeze through this stuff. Cesium's heart is in the right place, but he doesn't know how to prioritize well. He is easily distracted, especially when girls are involved. You really need to stop skipping class to flirt Florine. It's becoming a huge problem. Now look, you are barely passing advanced mathematics with a C-. Don't drop to a D+. This whole flirting thing isn't working out for you since it is impacting your grades. You really need help with catching up on your schoolwork. I'm fine, Florine. I don't need help. I can do the material myself. You know Florine, if you need help, sulfur, lithium, and I can walk you through the material. Or even cesium, if he ever shows up. Cesium and fluorine together? That's a disaster waiting to happen. Pair the most electropositive element with the most electronegative one? It'd be like putting a match to gasoline. Sodium's right. They would probably end up flirting with each other. If they ever flirted, the whole school would probably explode. It will have to be you, Lithium, or Sulfur. Phosphorus, you really need to calm down. Let's just move past this, alright. We will figure it out eventually. I will try to explain what I understand. Let's just forget about this right now. I don't want to hear any more about the class. I agree with you, Carbon. I feel like my head is going to explode. It's like the nitrogen atoms in my brain are all bonding and becoming azide ions. Obviously all of us were annoyed about the class, but we moved on to dinner. While phosphorus come down, lithium, sulfur, and rubidium tried to see what they could do for homework. Why is it all silent? We have been staring at each other while we have been eating without saying a single word. It's because we don't know what to say. Dr. Argon's class was really brutal today. It's impossible to understand. I hear you, Phosphorus. I just don't get why his class has to be this hard. Lithium, Sulfur, and Rubidium have been trying to figure out how to do the homework with little success. Oxygen, what's up with Florine? Not again. She's going to do it. Chlorine. Florine's making a run for it. It looks like she's heading toward that muscular guy. Oh my goodness. Not again. I got to stop her and make sure she doesn't do something stupid. And I think that muscular guy is friends with Barium. I think that is him. He is always starting stuff at the hospital and getting into competitions with me for no reason. I am so glad that we all got done with our math homework. Hey there, handsome. Did it hurt when you fell from the vending machine? Because you're a snack. Excuse me. I don't know who you are, but I am not interested at all. Again, Florine. We keep talking about this over and over. And yet here we are once again. Sorry about this, sir. She does stuff like this all the time. Whatever. Well, well, well. If it isn't Barium. If it isn't Eileen. What are you doing here? Wait. You know her? Yes. She and I have an internship at the hospital. She is always causing conflicts. That is a lie. You are always messing around and making everyone mad. 
And also you are too competitive when you should be taking things seriously. Why don't we break things up here? We are just meeting them. Let's de-escalate these conflicts and introduce ourselves. I'm beryllium. I'm magnesium. I'm calcium. I'm strontium. And I'm barium. I'm assuming Irene has mentioned me before. She hasn't mentioned you that much. We introduced each other and then sat down. So are any of you dating someone? Yeah, I am. Who is it, Beryllium? I don't want to talk about it. What if they're listening? What if who's listening? What if the government is tracking us? Do you think the cafeteria has cameras in the food trays? What if you are going to tell them who my boyfriend is? That's enough, Beryllium. I'm dating manganese. Our names sound very close. Magnesium and manganese. I am not interested in dating just yet. Although I am in great physical shape, I work out to stay fit and not to impress anyone. Cesium also works out. However, unlike you, he does it to impress the ladies. He still is healthy, but he has other intentions that worry us. He is very focused on finding someone. He is the other friend of ours that isn't here with us. And that is the reason you don't see him with us today. He is skipping class to flirt with girls. I am with Selenium. She's brilliant. She's nonverbal and uses a text-to-speech program to talk and is very intelligent. She keeps me on my toes. Selenium is one of my best friends. Me and Sulfur both know her. We all are chalcogens. She is really great with math and science. I honestly don't really care for any relationships. What do all of you do for activities? Just hanging out with my boyfriend and doing stuff. I won't explain just in case they are overhearing our conversation. I am also a big gamer as well. I just do a bunch of gaming with manganese. I specifically play Call of Duty and Roblox. I love to hit the gym. Other than that, I go bowling every night and have scored 12 strikes many times. I also love to play Minecraft. Other than gaming, I am a cross-country and track runner. I also am a professional skater. I am always performing daring stunts and tricks. I just like to play card and video games outside of my internship at the hospital. All the alkaline earth metals are gamers. We went into the study room to try and do the rest of our homework on canvas. Why does Dr. Argon always have to make everything so complicated? He overcomplicates even the simplest concepts. He makes basic algebra feel like rocket science. It's not just that. This guy has no patience. I asked him one question, and he acted like I wasted his time. Like, what's he even there for? And he's so dismissive. He never explains anything properly. Half the time, I don't even know if he's talking to us or himself. He's like a robot. He has no emotion, no empathy, and no variety. He just throws formulas at us and expects us to figure it out. I can't learn like that. He doesn't care if we're struggling. I feel like I'm falling behind, and he doesn't even notice. Oh, trust me, he notices. He just doesn't care about any of us. He's got that whole, I'm smarter than you vibe and loves to flaunt it. I believe his PhD is in being a jerk. And don't get me started on his pop quizzes. It's like he's actively trying to make us fail. I have never seen someone so brilliant and so terrible at teaching. Like, how can you know so much but suck at explaining it? He probably thinks we're all idiots. I'm sure he goes home every night and laughs at how dumb we must seem. He's got no sense of pacing. We're still trying to wrap our heads around last week's lecture and he's already moved on. Cesium would have definitely been a help if we didn't skip. It's Dr. Argon's arrogance. You can see it in his face every time someone asks a question. He thinks he's above all of us. He probably is, but that doesn't mean he can't at least pretend to care. Yeah, I'd settle for him being human every once in a while. It's like he's some kind of math machine. He has no personality and certainly no understanding. What seems to be the problem? We all can hear you complaining. It's Dr. Argon's advanced mathematics class. We are trying to do this assignment, 
but we can't figure out how to do this because of how poorly he teaches the material. Due to how rigorous his class is, we don't understand any of the content that well. Dr. Ragon, huh? We've got Mrs. Cobalt. She's a lot more laid back and actually teaches. She makes sure we understand the material before moving on, especially with magnesium. Lucky you. We're stuck trying to survive Argon's death trap of a class. We're ahead in the curriculum, so if you need a hand, we've got you covered. That would be really nice. I feel like my head is about to combust. I can't help you three. Thank you, Borlium. Why don't you three just let me handle it? I will take care of your homework for you, for a price. Beryllium, enough. I got it from here. Go and sit down. The alkaline earth metals helped us out with our homework, although Beryllium tried to take advantage of our kindness, but the other four told her to knock it off. Is everything alright, Cesium? I messed up. I skipped class today, and now everyone's mad at me. What did you think was going to happen? Cesium. You skipped Dr. Argon's class, the hardest class of the day, just to flirt with girls, and now we're all paying for it. Cesium, you've got to stop skipping class. You're very intelligent and catch up easily, but you're making it harder on us and we struggle today in the class. Please prioritize. There's time and place for everything. Right now, school is more important than anything. You almost messed up big time today. Florine. You approached Calcium and tried to flirt with him. I know. I didn't think he'd reject me like that. But hey, we made some new friends because of it. Well, that is true. Today was insane, right? Insane doesn't even cover it. I thought we were goners in Dr. Argon's class. Tell me about it, but hey, we made some new friends. Yeah? The alkaline earth metals are pretty cool. Except for Brillium. She gives me the creeps. Yeah, but I'm still not over Dr. Argon. That man is out for blood. Yeah. We have got a long way to go, but we'll make it through together. In a day filled with confusion, frustration, and strange new faces, we learn it that even the toughest problems can be solved with the right people by your side. We got through a really tough day but we survived.